And it's also, we are going to include in our leaflet like something like stigma. What can be done for these people in terms of, because most people, they can't be recognized in their community. Even though you are holding on to an important job, as soon as you start hearing like someone has mad, the first thing you do is to take a job off you. If you have a, a place you live in, they go, you can drive them away from that place because they think they are just going to harm someone. Actually, this is the I'm so proud of What we intend to do in our implementation of our project. But as we all know, implementation of this project only, it can help for the moment. But there is a need for a monitoring program to go around to make sure that this project does not get that way. For our monitoring program, actually, um, because among all the parts of the project, money is one of the most essential aspects. So for this reason, we are going to organize a monitoring team to make sure that this project is pushed forward, that it is kept alive. So going to this project, we have decided to use some stakeholders in the community to serve as monitoring officers. We have chosen the chief, the imam, and the pastor to help us monitor our project. But as the imam, he can fulfill this this duty by including this mental illness issue in some of the sermons that is going to give to his, to his people. And it's because normally when we go for Friday prayers, the Imam do give speech. Right? So if only once a month, if he can be able to include about this mental illness, try to see how best he can. From what he has been taught. Yo, um, this is day two, VOS. How best we can able to pass all this information to these people. So we think um, that's one of the ways we are going to make sure our project is kept alive. For the pastor also, he can also fulfill his shoot, concert multimedia, we're trying to As a monitoring officer, by including the mental health issue, also is someone on Sundays. Like when the congregation is in the church, after everything, he gets to Trying to make this happen, we're working really hard. We got people like. Inform them again. Even though we, maybe we have gone there to talk about it, try to remind them about this mental illness to see how best he can pass on the information he has to them. Though we don't. That mistake star zero mix up box up and. Up at this point, the chief, the imam, um, because as for the chief, normally the <coughs> thing he can do for us. Two, alongside Daddy G of SQB and this morning's screen has when they have meetings in Mutari, I think he can mention it also. But we don't stop there to say um not only they have the money to learn in aspects, but then in their own community. Also with the students from the West Africa Medical Mission, who are who is in charge of this mental illness issue. We've also We're trying to stop the violence in Sierra Leone and like I already said, because sometimes we go to church or mosque so and even the chief board uh so, uh for for meeting people who we get to go. So the thing so if we go to the Kuyumbas also we can get some there or around there too to make sure they, they know about this illness. You will visit the church and mosque on the days of religious gathering. Like you know on Sunday the kids have to gather in the church, so we think we can visit them on Sundays ask questions and in the most we do the same please check out the video it's gonna be hard we can ask questions and we can get their feedbacks you can know how best this information has been passed to these people so actually um this is all we have for noise when and the video How do we see this project going on? What do we see the project accomplishing? Well, for that respect, we see our projects being implemented again in the future in various other communities. Because
because like for the service we did, we did in Tengwe Town. But what we will be putting down in our leaflet would go to, is going to include things that um, we did not just gather in Tengwe Town. Because like we were able to visit several other medical practitioners like um, um, Mr. Campbell here who is a, um, a stress manager. We were able to visit him. He was able to like give us ideas on mental illness. His ideas which I believe are very unique from every other like mental health practitioner we visited. Because like he believes that stress is um, a very um, huge cause of mental illness. I mean like for example um, the stress caused by war. I mean, people, um, since we just come in back from 10 years of war, people have stress which they don't even know about. I mean, um, it's been a very long period, 10 years of war, and there's a lot of stress gathered. And um, according to him, he said that, well, stress can, be, can even be passed on from like mother to Try to like see how 
how you can include a mental health model in the training of teachers in order to like um, be, make them able to like um, identify children who, who might be mentally ill for this job and like be able to like give counseling, you know, like on stress management, be able to like help them manage their stress because like most of them might be having stressful problems at home and they bring them to school. You know, he um, was like trying to see how a model can include to, like enable these teachers to be able to like, identify children who are low in class that might be um, mentally ill or stressed out and see where like be able to like, know the extent of their problem and know where to refer them to the treatment or like be able to like, give them um, counseling. So but that's why that, um, I mean, with the mental health policy being enacted, being so shaky, what we plan, and you know, that's by that, what we plan is working for the future with these stakeholders to see how much we can be able to like, give us some of these teachers, like, um, um, like a training session, so we like be able to like point out some signs and symptoms that might be very difficult to delicate. You know, signs and symptoms that we'll be able to
Sunday meetings, I really do not see that much as monetary. And uh, you probably in your statistics, it was very large extent to serve as a baseline what you met in that community. And you want to, after you exit the community, more or less showcase that this was what we are able to do. And you are more, to a very large extent, educating the community on mental health using a very brilliant strategy, the moms and so on and so forth. It is very good. You want, at the end of the day, to showcase that this was what we were able to do. And your monetary strategy should be very, very, must be in place, all right? But merely having the imam, participating monetary people, but merely having the imam and the pastor to give information that yes, there, there is some uh, fitness center somewhere, or people that are mentally ill in this community should be identified and referred to somebody for treatment, or that, that is very easy, okay? You want to monitor what is changing, all right, as a result of your activity or your action in the community. But I see that more or less to be uh, giving information. Okay, actually, I was already That's why we, we are not going to leave the monetary aspect of all the community elements. And to make sure that we know the output we are doing, that's why we visit these places. We also ask questions so their feedback they are giving us with either able to identify whether these people are understanding what we are trying to talk about here or not. If they don't understand actually, I think they are a uh, responsibility again to make inform them more about this, this mental act. So, and I believe for the imam and the pastor, those are the most important people in that community that people who listen to. So at least if you don't hear it from me, here, maybe you could look down on us, maybe come and push these distance to my service and this report. I believe to the pastor and the man who are really just the people in the place. I don't think so. Well, what do you really want to do? Well, actually, later I'm really monitoring the, like, for instance, people do be able to see, like, not all the people that are going on around the streets, kicking <coughs> garbages at people who are trying to make some little some people are mentally ill to the behavior they are putting on. Okay? So if, if at least this imam or pastor who would have already lectured about this mental illness, if you properly tell the cause of this mental illness, who are going to tell you the age of their treatment if you are affected, who are going to tell you some of the preventive measures that you can put to stop this thing from going Because through our findings, we find out that most of the things of mental illness is caused by, by drug addicts. So, so the, I mean the advice that will be, will be given from the man or the pastor that can slow the rate of keeping the drugs in the community. Alright, let me just suggest you can have the way, alright? If you act if your intervention is creating some changes in the community, you can have the way. Probably the number of people that are being referred, alright, you can check. Right? And uh, you can you can check. If, for instance, you have three people being referred to a particular clinician after this intervention, then you will know that your action in that particular community yielded something. Things like that. There are some little, little things that you can use to check to know that yes, we did not use time and other resources to not be but it was able to create the desired change. And that is just what I have to say. Because you really want to showcase at the end of the day. That's what's going to come. Yeah, uh, and, and uh, also we plan on um, talking to people too. You know, aside from talking to the imam and the pastor and the chief or the stakeholders, I might come to you and say, well, how far do you know we have given a decision before you say yes? Tell you that you're lying. I mean, you're a respectable person and all. So what what I can do to prove um, whether you you're telling the truth or not is like going to the lay people 
like the lemma who, who I didn't even have to pretend to operate, who is not a stable, who might be considered the least in the community, and then try to find out his or her knowledge on mental health. And most preferably, we can also like use the people we already talked to, because that way we would know like how much they've learned, because we talk to them and they gave us your perspective, what they think about mental health in terms of causes and symptoms and all. So if we talk to them again and they give us something different, then we would know that all that our, our effort here has really yielded. Can I ask a question? Um, I'm interested about the different people you spoke to in the community in Tengifai. Um But I wanted to ask if you had spoken to people who were current or past sufferers of mental health problems themselves to learn from their experiences or if they were going to be involved in your monitoring of what progress there is. Yeah, well then, um, yeah, especially I spoke to someone who's going to ask me something. So then um, he said he had anything else or any information I think uh, he's one of the key people that we are looking for because um, he knows how to um, talk to people that are mentally ill, or he knows people that are in the community. So he's also living at the street. Um, or he knows people that are mentally ill. So then he can help us, and then he can, we can use him as an advocate to talk, and also use his brother as an example. Even though we think that through him, he can even transform or heal his brother. Because through the teachings we are going to, the implementation that he's going to do, because I believe, through what we have sensitized him, we are going to sensitize very good approach, right? I'm merely giving you my own opportunity. Yeah, and can you really give me that? Uh, actually, uh, on that aspect, uh, you're not given anybody that is actually a different like we have a certain people who is target to give this to them. And for those that are right, so we come in to give good to them, to make sure what is in the club that is so it's brief based on the right. That's what we call it. Well, if you give this to the third day, you're not going to be a waste of resources. So there's people who are going to be reflect on the rest of the sunrise, what is in the bathroom for them, they don't understand what is in there. For those who can't be, those who don't want to eat, and so on. Actually, I don't have a question, really. I'm just like this, I'm very, very impressed at this. Um, this is my very first uh, opportunity, very first time, my friend, um, and it's in my first. And I'm very, very impressed. Um, for one thing, um, I am a member of the, the um, Mental Health Coalition in Sierra Leone, which has just been um, um, set up last October. 
So this sort of thing is very, very new. Uh, it's not this sort of um, 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 health um, uh, problem that everyone talks about. And for you guys to have gone out there and done this amount of work, I am I'm very, very impressed. And I hope you will continue to do Like I said, when I spoke to you um, here, I'm, I'm here to, to, to um, develop people, to talk to people, and to, to help my country, because I've been away for a very long time. And coming back, I want to see, this is the sort of thing that I want to see happening. You know, and I, I just love it. You know, and I hope you continue, like I said to you the other day, if you have any questions, just call me up and come around, and we'll, 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 we'll talk about it. The only thing about, um, the only thing it was the, uh, the, the